In this section, we will discuss a new term, namely the rank of a matrix. Rank of a matrix is the maximal number of linearly independent rows, and it is equal to the maximal number of linearly independent columns of a matrix. And to find the rank of a matrix, it's good to have the matrix in a special form. Namely, it's good to have the matrix in such a form that below the main diagonal there are only zeros. And on the main diagonal we have non-zero numbers. We will call this form upper triangular form. upper triangular form of a matrix. An example of the matrix is in the form 2, 3, 0, 5. Then we have main diagonal here. We have non-zero entries on the main diagonal and we have zeros below. That's good, because then the rank will be 2. If we have a matrix that is not in this form, then we can use Gauss elimination to bring, to transform the given matrix into this nice form, into the upper triangular form. Let me give you an example. If we have the matrix, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, then we write just tilde, not equal sign, because the, the resulting matrix will not be equal to the original one, it will be just equivalent in the sense that it has the same uh, rank. First we look at the position 1, 1. If there is a non-zero value, we are happy. If there were zero, then we would interchange two columns or two rows to get zero here. And we copy the first row. And to get zero here, this is not possible just to cancel 3 and try to 0, because this would this might change the rank of the matrix. We can, also, we can only perform such operations that, that preserve the rank, that do not change the rank of the matrix. And if we have the rows of the matrix and we consider them as vectors, then good operations are that we can multiply a row or a vector with some non-zero number and we can take one row and we can add another row or in general we can add a linear combination of the remaining rows and these operations do not change the rank, do not change linear, the linear dependency or independency. So to get zero here we take the second row and we subtract three times the first one to get the new second row. And we perform this operation with the entire row. So 3 minus 3 is 0. That was the, the reason of this operation. And then 4 minus 3 times 2 is 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Well, and here we have the matrix in the upper triangular form. It has two rows, so the rank is 2. The rank of this matrix is 2, and because this operation preserves the rank, so the rank of the other matrix is 2 as well. If we call it A, then we can say that rank of A is 2. If it turns out that we get a zero row that brings nothing new and we can cancel a zero row. For a larger matrix, it's a lot of computation, but nothing special, nothing more complicated. Consider, for example, the matrix 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, 1. 4, 5, minus 1. And we want to find the rank of this matrix by using the Gauss elimination to bring this to the upper triangular form. 
sum zero, so we can copy the first row. And to get zero here, we take some multiple of the first row and the second row and combine them together to get zero here. Here we will get two times the second row minus three times the first one to replace the second row. Because then we get six minus six, which is zero. Well, and we must do this operation for the entire rest of the row. So here we have two minus nine, which is minus eleven. And here we have two minus zero, which is two. And similarly, to replace four with zero, we take the third row and we subtract two times the first one. To clear the first column, we always use this number. So 4 minus 4 is 0, then 5 minus 6 is minus 1, and finally minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1. So at this point the first column is good, and now let's clear, let's operate with the second column. So we copy the first row, 2, 3, 0. We have non zero here, so we are happy, we can just copy the second row. Otherwise, we would swap some columns or rows to get zero uh, to get a non zero value here. And now to clear this minus one, we consider this point instead of this one. This was good for the first column and this will be used for the second column. So we must multiply by 11 the third row and we subtract the second one to get a new third row. We don't use this number but this one. So we use the second row, not the first one not to spoil the zeros uh, in the first column. Because you see, for this number, you have, you have 11 times 0 minus 0, which is 0. <coughs> well, it would be a pity to, to lose the 0 when it was so hard to get it. Then we have minus 11 plus 11, which is 0. Yeah, that was the purpose of this operation. And finally, we have 11 times this one, which is minus 11, minus 2, which is minus 13. And we are done. This matrix is in the upper triangular form. We have done zero entries on the my diagonal, and we have all the zeros below. The number of rows is 3, so the rank is 3. Let's have a look what happens, or what may happen, uh, as the rank of the matrix. So let's start with a 1 times 1 matrix. Just one single number considered as a matrix. If the number is non zero, then the rank is one. If is one. If the number is zero, then the rank is zero. Okay, that was almost stupid. Consider a two by two matrix. If the matrix has two independent oh, oh something like that, one, two, three, four, yeah, one, two, three, four, then the rank is two. <coughs> it cannot be more than the lesser of the number of rows and columns. 
But if we have, say, one to one to move, then there are no two independent rows. Just one independent row, and this one repeats, so the rank is one. If we use the Gaussian elimination, then to get zero here, we take the, third, the second row minus the first one. And we get zero, so we can cancel this, and we arrive at the matrix which is in the upper triangle form, and it has just one row, so the rank is one. And again, if the matrix is zero, that means all the entries are equal to zero exactly, then the rank is zero. Rank of a matrix makes a perfect sense even for non-square matrices, even for rectangular matrices. Say, you can have a matrix 2 by 4, having two rows and four columns. Then the, uh, the rank may be at most 2. It will be almost at most the lesser, the minimum, of the number of rows or number of columns. And if the matrix has the rank that is the lesser of the dimensions, we call it a full rank matrix. So an example, two by two matrix may have a rank of two, and if it is indeed two, we call it a full rank matrix. If the rank is less than the maximum we are allowed by the dimension, we call a rank deficient matrix. And then the difference between the maximum possible rank and the actual rank is the deficiency, the rank deficiency of the matrix. Rank of a matrix is quite an important number because it will help us to decide whether a system of equations has solution or not. <laughs>